Old English Sheepdogs Top 10 Facts The Old English Sheepdog may appear as a large ball of fluff, but a solid dog lurks beneath that fluff ball. The height starts at 22 inches and goes up, and the weight is up to 90 pounds. These dogs are fairly square and have a shaved Old English Sheepdog that shows nice proportions. Today, we'll tell you about the top 10 facts about Old English Sheepdogs. Before we start, go ahead and subscribe. Also, press the bell button to get the latest updates. Without any further delay, let us start. At number 10, we have the OES's coat is highly functional. The distinctive thick double coat adapted over the years to the environment he worked in and the sheep he worked with. The coat is insulating and waterproof, protecting the dog during chilly, wet winters and warm summers. His coat also gives him a woolly look that allows him to blend in with the flock of sheep. The top line does tend to slope down from the loin to the withers. The ears hang down and the tail is docked as close to the body as possible. The eyes are dark and mischievous when seen under the heavy bangs. The coat is thick, dense, and profuse. Dogs in show coat keep the long, fluffy coat, but many pets are shaved down for ease of care. Colors are limited to shades of blue or gray with white. These are fairly slow maturing dogs, reaching adult height by about one year of age, but not filling out totally until two or three years. Many Old English Sheepdogs live to 12 or 14 years of age. Next, we have at number 9, grooming will be part of your weekly routine. Expect to devote about 3-4 to four hours a week grooming your Old English Sheepdog's shaggy coat. The properly groomed OES is beautiful, but it takes a fair amount of work to achieve that look, so be prepared for the commitment. Old English Sheepdogs are smart but independent dogs. They can be strong-willed and need a firm hand to guide them along the right path. They do have a remarkable sense of humor and seem to enjoy their owner's dismay at some of their antics. Next, at number 8, we have another common name for the Old English Sheepdog is the Bobtail. The Old English Sheepdog, like the Bulldog and Collie, stands out among the truly iconic dogs of the British Isles and is recognizable by its shaggy coat and bobtail. While not thought of as a guarding dog, some Old English Sheepdogs can be protective. Their bark is loud and some become nuisance barkers. Digging and chewing develops into dogs that are not exercised or mentally challenged enough. Next, at number 7, we have... When the OES first came to the United States, it was a wealthy person's dog. William Wade, a Pittsburgh industrialist, first promoted the breed in the late 1880s. And less than 20 years later, five among the 10 richest families in America owned, bred, and exhibited the breed, including the Vanderbilts and the Guggenheims. Old English Sheepdogs do best when given early socialization with both other pets and people. They can be somewhat dog aggressive, particularly in the males. A rise in their popularity in the 1970s was not the best thing for the breed, and reputable breeders are working hard to restore their desired even temperament. Old English Sheepdogs tend to be easy to keep weight on, which is generally true of working dogs. They have a slight tendency to become roly-poly, so watch the calories. It can be difficult to accurately assess their weight, particularly when the dogs are left in full coat. Coat care is a big consideration with this breed. Keeping the coat in show condition is a serious commitment requiring frequent baths, coat treatments, and daily grooming, as well as limiting the dog's activities. Most caregivers elect to shear the coat down once or twice yearly. Fortunately, Old English Sheepdogs look nice clipped down. Next, at number 6, we have Old English Sheepdogs are known for their bear-like gait. Although agile and plenty nimble at fast speeds, when an OES slows down, his gait can be an ambling roll or shuffle that resembles that of a bear. Old English Sheepdogs do require a fair amount of exercise, especially as young dogs. 
Training is a must, along with plenty of socialization. These dogs require a firm, patient hand and are not ideal for first-time dog owners. They are designed as serious working dogs and are happiest when they have tasks to do, be that obedience competition or herding a flock. Next, we have at number five, the first fact is that the Old English Sheepdog isn't that old, or really, English, and isn't technically a sheepdog. The Old English Sheepdog attained its modern appearance in the Devon and Somerset areas of England, but the breed probably derives at least partly from the continental sheep herding dogs. A need in England arose about 200 years ago for a large dog capable not only of driving cattle and sheep, but also of fending off large predators such as wolves. Since these were working dogs, their tails were docked or bobbed to denote their tax exemption, and hence the nickname Bobtails. Next, we have at number four. The Old English Sheepdog has a loud, distinctive bark. According to the breed standard, it has a pot case ring to it, which is French means broken jar or cracked bell. It's been compared to the sound of two pots clanging together. Expect to hear that bark whenever anything unusual is happening, as your Old English Sheepdog will likely want to let you know about the situation. The Old English Sheepdog had to drive animals many miles to market and develop a special gait, the amble or pace, for efficient coverage of the miles. The thick coat was easily maintained by simply shearing it off when the sheeps were sheared each spring. Next, at number three, we have These dogs love having fun. Old English sheepdogs have a real sense of humor and can be quite the clowns, but they're also very smart and versatile. Some consider them to be stubborn, but with proper training, they can take the dog sport world by storm. Old English Sheepdogs are renowned for their sense of humor and have appeared in many films and television shows. Please don't eat the daisies. Start an Old English Sheepdog and many cartoons such as Dennis the Menace and, for better or for worse, have an Old English Sheepdog as the main character. At number two, we have OES have won Best in Show at Westminster twice, 61 years apart. The first to win Best in Show at the Westminster Kennel Dog Show was Slumber in 1914. The judge said that Slumber came close to the accepted model of perfection than any dog he had ever seen, according to the New York Times report of the event. The second winner was Sir Lancelot of Barvin, Dudley, in 1975. The three-year-old was from Ontario, Canada, and was best in show in his native country 20 times. Finally, at number one, we have Old English Sheepdogs have been featured in popular culture. Disney's 1959 comedy, The Shaggy Dog, was about a boy who is turned into an Old English Sheepdog. There are animated Old English Sheepdogs in the cartoon classics, The Little Mermaid, and 101 Dalmatians. And more recently, the Cats and Dogs movies had an OES character. And the Beatles song, Martha My Dear, was written by Paul McCartney about his old English sheepdog. That's all for today, folks. Tell us in the comment section about your point of view. See you soon with another amazing video.